hello guys and welcome back so in the previous videos we have created all of the player movement our player can jump run and do whatever he wants but now the only thing that is missing is the animations so if you saw the previous videos we have already downloaded all of the animations needed for this female character and also we have applied animator as well let me change this to normal mode okay right here we have this female controller and now we will add all of the required animations for this female character so let's start let me move them a little bit above right there and then if we click on this female character folder we have this idle animation so let's just simply try and drop that in here and double click on it basically and change this to loop time okay and let me try and drop the player in here so you can notice that how this animation will look okay so let's name this as idle after the idle let's add the punch animation here it is this is the punch animation let's try and drop that in here and as you can see it is already named as cross punch you can double click on it and change this to loop time click on apply okay after this we need the jump animation so here is the jump animation let's try and drop that in there change its name to jump double click on it and change this to loop time or actually we can remove this loop time from the jump only if you want but let's just leave it as it is after this we need the walk animation so right here we have this walking let's drag and drop that right here change this to walk double click on it set it to loop time and set the loop pause as well because we want to we want the player to just walk in one place okay if we remove that he will move forward and backward like that we don't want that Okay, so make sure that you take the loop pose as well after the walk we need this running so just drag and drop the running and change its name to running as well double click on it as you can see it is also not a loop pose so take both of that after this we need the rifle walk animation so if you go inside the female shooter we have this walking animation so just simply drag and drop that in there and change this to rifle walk double click on it and take both of that click apply that's it and then we can actually duplicate this and change its name to a rifle shoot walk okay let me move this one right there this one here now we need the rifle aiming and here it is let's change this to loop time click on apply try and drop that in there change its name to rifle aim now we need shooting animation and that shooting animation will be same as the rifle aim so just duplicate that by using the control D button okay if you're using Windows or actually you can copy that and then paste it like this okay now let's name this as shooting double click on it and as you can see our player will shoot like that now the last animation which 
we will be needing is the reloading so here is our reloading animation let's try and drop that right there double click on it actually and set it to loop time that's it so everything is set up let me remove all of that warnings and now let's add all of the parameters so let's add the first one it will be of type boom and we will name it idle then let's add another boom which will be by the name of walk then another boom which will be by the name of running and then another boom which will be by the name of fire and let's add a trigger as well by the name of jump let me move this up there okay then let's add a boom again by the name of idle aim then another boom by the name of rifle walk then add another boom by the name of reloading then another by the name of fire walk and the last boom will be the punching so let's name this as punch and now let's make transitions between all of these animations so first of all make a transition from idle to let's just say walk and then from walk back to the idle in the transition which is from idle to walk remove this as exact time zero and right here set the walk to true and then the transition which is back to the idle Right here remove has exact time zero and set the walk to false then let's make a transition from idle to rifle aim and then from the rifle aim to the idle and right here we will do the same remove the as exact time zero and we will set the idle aim to true and then the transition which is from rifle aim to idle remove that and set the idle aim to false then make a transition from idle to cross punch and from cross punch to idle click on this transition and let's set the punch to true and then from the cross punch back to the idle make the punch false and actually we need the as exact time right here because when the punching is stopped then we want to go back to the idle okay like this now let's create a transition from idle to shooting and from shooting back to idle you know where the exact time zero Right here, set the fire to true, and then right here, we will do the vice versa. We will just leave the exact time as tick, and we will set the idle to true this time. Okay, then make a transition from idle to jump, from jump to idle. Remove that, and simply we will say jump. And when the jump is completed, if we have exact time as it is and set the idle true so the player will jump like that as you can see now let's make a transition from idle to run let me move this running right here okay let's make a transition to run and then from running back to the idle and right here we will remove the exact time zero and set the running to true then which is from the running to the idle I remove that set the running to false now let's make a transition from the shooting to the reloading and from the reloading to the shooting and guys we are just doing all of the transition in this video okay some of these animations will not be used 
in few upcoming videos first we will test the walking running jump okay we will just test these three and the idle as well so basically four we will test these four animations but when we will uh, add the shooting system to our player and the punching system then these all animations will work and it will make sense okay so now right here from the shooting to the reloading remove that and set the reloading to true and then select this one remove as except time zero and set the reloading to false then make a transition from shooting to walk and from walk to shooting and from the shooting to the walk remove as except time zero right here make the walk true and the fire falls then select the other transition which is from walk to shooting remove that and do the vice versa set the walk this time to false and the fire to true then make a transition from walk to rifle walk and from rifle walk to walk select this transition which is from walk to rifle walk Remove the exact time zero and simply set the rifle walk to true. Then select the other one, remove that, and simply set the rifle walk to false. Now let's make a transition from rifle walk to rifle shoot walk and from rifle shoot walk to rifle walk. Actually, we don't need that, so let me delete this. Okay, let's make a transition from walk to rifle shoot walk and from rifle shoot walk to walk. Select the transition from walk to rifle shoot walk, remove as exact time zero, and right here set the fire walk to true, and do the vice versa right here, set the fire walk to false. Then make a transition from walk to running and from running to walk. Right here, remove as exact time zero. Okay, on this transition, which is from walk to running. And right here, set the running to true. Right here, do the vice versa, set the running to false. Okay, you can see the transition. Now let's add a transition from this rifle aim to rifle walk and from rifle walk to rifle aim. Select the first one and move as exact time zero. Set the rifle walk to true and right here set the rifle walk to false. Then create a transition from rifle walk to reloading. Let me move this right there okay. and then make a transition from reloading to rifle walk. Select the first transition and right here set the reloading to true and to the vice versa right here. Set the reloading to false. Now make a transition from rifle shoot walk to reloading and from reloading to a rifle shoot walk let's select this transition remove that set the reloading to true and then in this one set the reloading to false and with this done our animations transition parameters everything is now completed let me move this window outside let me see it in the full view okay let's set this up okay so now it looks Good like this. Let me minimize it and add it back there. 
and you can see all of the transitions and everything okay and I hope you understand how this parameters transition and measure and everything has worked if you didn't get it feel free to ask me in the Q&A session and you can also rewatch this video again to understand it much better with this done in the next video we will add all of these animations to our player using a script so catch you guys in the next one